think I got this thing fixed. So. Oh my god. Man, it sure am full, man. That was a good lunch. Yeah, I tell you what. Last time yeah. I had Chipotle on a hot day. You got Chipotle? Yeah, well, you know. Man, that's spaghetti and meatballs. Taco Bell. Well, don't yeah, mess on the seat of that Kenny over there. We just had the upholstery done on that. All right, so you boys ready to do some bailing? Yeah, yeah I'm in the tractor. We'll get her done. All right. Go ahead and... Uh, Get things settled up here so we got our uh, grass field we cut on our uh, last one there so we that's uh, i guess done a couple days so things are all dried out so let's uh get ready let's do a little bailing today open don't go too far there just about made a mistake mistakes were almost made but they well, were that's averted a case so it could have got out of the ditch yeah Episode like two. By the way, uh, Monsoor has an affinity for the Big Bud. Just out of curiosity, anybody out there a Big Bud fan, put hashtag Big Bud in the chat. And we'll make sure to get you a nice Big Bud video here soon. Let FTG know that you like the Big Bud with the hashtag FTG. Loves the big yeah. That's too long of a hashtag. Just put big cut. Yeah, nobody's gonna type that into a mobile device. <laughs> Tell you what, we got a lot of grass on this one, man. Good gracious. <laughs> I'd have to make a couple passes to get the extra. Tell you what. Well, you know what they say in Spanish. Yeah, what's that? Gracias. Oh, <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Y'all see the little birds running around? Yeah, they need to get jobs instead of being freeloaders in our feet. They eat on our grass fields. <laughs> We're gonna tax the birds. What do you have for lunch, Full Tail? Cut your fried steak. I it's amazing. It's an amazing little joint there. We can get Chipotle. We can get country fried steak and a burger oh. and a steak all in the same place. Yeah, it's almost like middle America. It's not just a complete. It's probably why angry. your stomach hurts. You got Chipotle at a place that didn't wasn't supposed to serve Chipotle. Yeah, wow. well, you know. I always keep a Pepto in my glove box. Yeah, is that in front of your goodies patter? Pepto be small. I've seen the jingle. Nausea, heartburn, indigestion. Finish is that, it. Is that the upset stomach? Yep. The diarrhea. <laughs> oh. Cringe commercials 101 with FTG in the group. Yeah, no, but now the the commercial has the bottle has hands and a face and it's like touching itself in the parts of the song mentioned. <laughs> oh yes. That was always weird. It's kinda like the Aunt Jemima uh pancake well, the, syrup bottle. It was just weird when the you, bottle talks. Have you seen the have you seen the KFC guy dancing with or like getting handsy with the bottle of syrup? Yes. Oh my god. What a sad man. Up. Straight up cringe. It's about as cringe Colonel as the Burger Sanders. King guy. What, you don't think the impossible whopper tastes like an actual whopper? You know why it doesn't taste like soybeans? Because they probably gave the commercial people a real burger and told them it wasn't a real burger. <laughs> yeah, I like how they put real people, not actors. Like, actors aren't real people. The guy wearing the cowboy hat, he's not a cowboy. Alright, there goes Nick with our first load. I guess we're gonna have what, one, two, three, four. I really, uh, good lord. We're gonna have like 20 trailer loads just out of this one field of grass. 
By the way, FTG, speaking of cowboys, where do you come in on people that just have a cowboy outfit they wear to a concert? Fake. Fake news. Fake fans. Bandwagon fans. Yeah, but that's what I always wondered. Like, if you give somebody something that they didn't order, is that fraud? Like, if I order a Whopper and they give me some black bean burger... When does bad service become fraud? Is that is that what we're discussing? Yeah, yeah, pretty yeah, well, much. The, all the vegans are suing a class action lawsuit against Burger King, saying that their Whoppers were cooked on the same grill as the real Whopper. Oh wow! I bet I bet it's so hard for them to eat. Some... Yeah, is there, I, is also, there any I also get angry about Whopper. trace amounts of meat. It's not even meat; it's just meat grease. <laughs> Well, now it can just be soy. <laughs> like all the comments hey, after Yeah, this go video. get that big pile, FDG. Yeah. <laughs> Am I going to have to get... Well, Monster will have to get the big butt if he gets stuck. Yeah, we'll see if the case can get it. <laughs> <laughs> the squab. That's what we are. What is squab? I've heard that term in a two and a half minute episode where the grandma gives the kid squab for dinner. Is it like squash spaghetti? <laughs> what? I think I think squab is squash spaghetti. Like you make the noodles out of squash. Squab. Yeah, you would know what squab is. I wouldn't. Squab boy. I'm not a degenerate. Squad. We need to get a P.O. box in the comments or in the description. That way, anytime me and Mansoor say something that angers the people watching, they can send in their hate. Yeah, and then you can do unboxing videos, FTG, where you unbox random packages people sent you in them. Yeah, people I might have, have to get a bomb sniff dog after that. Yeah, we, we might make some people mad. You watch the Unabomber documentary, oh and then you're just like, oh no. Wait, I can pick him right out of the trailer. Squab. Kind of fun to say. Well, that's what we are, Nick. That's our what we call ourselves. Alright, we're gonna spit them out like bullets here. <laughs> Should I get behind and help push? No. Nah. There. I can make another pass through the pile. Climb the mountain, FTG. It's always nice how the game gives us a little surprise at the end of each row. How many did you get off that one? <laughs> like four out of the big pile. The plane ring around the rosy. We're almost to three. Y'all ever heard from Brandy? What you decide to do with him, FTG? Did you fire? Never heard Did from he him. Just... 
Yeah, well, I'm about to keep driving in this ditch over here. I was going to have Randy put a fence around it, but I guess I'll have to do it myself. Yeah, it's a Randy move. You want Randy to do a fence? Can't find any good help around these parts. In Kansas? I agree. Kansas have a very uh, good NASCAR track. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Just, I think the I think the NASCAR drivers. Are cool. well, hopefully you can get that uh, that last load on your trailer, Monsoor. I'm gonna be stuck up here. For a minute, I, I don't know what's going on. I think I'm leaking some hydraulic fluid on the on the trailer here. I'm gonna see if I can pick. Yeah, well, we got the Craftsman wrench, the WD-40, and the duct tape in the uh, barn. So we just want to go check that. Should be. I think I got this same fix. So. Oh my god. What the, what the hell? Are you serious? What the heck are you doing, Monsoor? I don't know, man. Holy crap, Hody. Well, what were you doing? Were you on your phone again? Yeah, my girlfriend just sent me a picture, man. I was just. I had the thing on cruise control. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? FTG's gonna be so pissed. We spent all day stacking these. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We can, uh... We, well, we're, we're gonna have to tell them. You're gonna have to be the one that calls them. I'm not, I'm not covering for you. I mean, that we might as well just start calling you Randy. Randy? Oh, boy. Oh, all right, all right. I'll, I'll ring him up. What the heck? This month's we're calling. What the heck they want? Hello? Hey, FDG, you, uh, you good down there? Yeah, yeah, just, uh, just got done. Uh, last bell up, so we'll come pick them up here just in a minute. Okay, alright. Um, listen, uh, could you come back up here? We, uh, just need you to see something real quick. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually on my way up the hill right now. All right. All right, I'll see you in a bit. I don't ever like it when that boy calls me like that. <sighs> what in the world? Listen here, Full Tail. I told you, you should have got rid of him when you got rid of Randy. Now, what I'm trying to say is unforeseen circumstances had occurred that I wasn't foreseeing in this. What was unforeseen about this? My you, girl, literally, you literally drove a brand new unforeseen. Kenworth into a whole load of bells. What was complete? Well, you can see well, that. Now That's we can not get unforeseen. The now we can get the Peter. <sighs> you and your grandpa's Peter. I'm telling you. Yeah, well, you know what? He ain't going to well, be sending anything to his girlfriend because I broke his phone. I'm tired. Yeah, well, he's got a big mouth on him. <sighs> Excuse me? Hey, what? Yeah, you heard me. Uh, FTG, uh, you might you might go in and get the telehandler. I'll get my truck, see if I can get out from behind all this mess, and maybe we'll... See if we can get the truck unhinged off the stack, as it were. 
Yeah, yeah, I guess I was just uh, gonna have to start there. All right. Yeah, let me run up here and grab it. Man. All right. Uh, let's see if I can hang my head out here. Uh, tell you what. Hey, Monsor, you hear me? Yeah. What's it? What's going on? What's going on? Hey, I'm gonna go into cow pen and see if I can push you in from the front or on the other side. All right. So you just need to gas it in reverse. All right. All right. Sounds good. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and let's push a few of these bells out of the way here. Let well, we can get us an angle in there. Right, get us lined up that way. Let's pull these two up here. We should be good. Get us a nice little straight on. Yeah, at least you had your beacons on. You know what the problem was, is that I didn't have the high visibility vest I should have been wearing. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. We're not hunting, we're harvesting. Yeah, well next time when we crash like this... Nah, I didn't should, crash well, anything. It's a team effort, we both did it. Lucky for you, FTG has the gentle touch with the telehandler. Yeah, okay. but when speed and power is necessary, you'll be calling for me. All right, guys. Well, we've got lots to clean up, lots of bales, trucks to fix in the works. So we'll see you here in the next episode. But for myself, Nick T. Munsor, we'll see you here in the next one, guys. Peace. <laughs>